What's up, YouTube? It's Cody Four Man Two Two One, and we are in the United Provinces campaign. Now, for any who won the Swedish campaign, I might do another one, but I figured right now that this is more of a global campaign. As you can see right now, I'm in India. I took out a minor nation here, so we've got the Marathi Confederacy and other stuff, uh, the Mughal Empire. So you basically start out with this. Let's go over to America, and then we'll come back to Europe. I have these two little provinces off of um, South America here. I think it, that's Venezuela, I think. So, Brazil, I guess. This is a French province, and I'm going to go to Europe now and tell you what happened. So, I conquered Madrid and Paris here. Huh, interesting. They weren't giving me so much money, I wouldn't tax them, but... Okay. So, what basically happened was I took this province over, and then it rebelled, and they took out my militia troops here. So, the French were dead. We're going into diplomatic relationships. I'm at war with Sweden right now. Spain I'm at war with, and France right now. And, yeah, I've got... Hold on, let's go back to me. There I am. Okay, so I'm at war with, like... Spain, France, and Sweden, or whatever. And I'm trading with different people, so that's bringing in some income each turn. And I'm gonna take over the Marath Confederacy and stuff. So, I don't know this campaign still has some work to be done, but I think it'll be good. It's, I'm doing this just because it's a global campaign. So let's zoom in here on this guy. Let's try to assassinate. This Spanish guy here. Oh, he's detected. And when they're detected, they can be executed later. But okay, so I've got a strong military force here, tons of troops. But I like there's so much. I'm losing some money right now. Okay, so first order of business, I would say, would be to make sure they're happy. No, they're not really happy. But it's okay is to take maybe we'll dumb <laughs> general was brought to an army first thing would be to is maintain the siege here wow this guy's three stars and where are my schools right here i think uh, another thing that's different in this game is there is a research thing so i'm starting to research they're still pretty early in the campaign I was having a lot of fun playing this, but I didn't do a lot. Like, I've done a lot more in my French campaign. So I'm going to show you that battle when it happens the next turn when they attack me. How much money am I making? So I'm making about a thousand, so we've got to improve from our trade incomes pretty um, meager right now. Look at this huge navy. i help with the peasant farms. Oh, uh, let's go. Hold on. Let's go to the Straits of... No. Wrong straits. Let's go to the Ivory Coast here. No. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes. These are my trading ships right now. So, they're getting me some money from this trading area here. But, this is going to be a lot. Let's see. Yeah. Hmm. Let's put them here. Orders? Nope, doesn't really help. Okay. So, you guys... So, I caught you up on Europe. I launched an early invasion on Paris. They only had um, conscripts, and I wiped them out, but then they came back because this province rebelled. And I believe another problem is that we're Protestant, and they're Catholic. Okay, in India, I'm using these awesome um, VOC line infantry. These are like these British East India Trade Comp. These are the um, the Dutch East India Trade Company, and they are European mercenaries that do not fight for king country, but for the great East Indian companies. And so I've got I'm making some money now. So let's end the turn and see what happens. But first, I'm gonna move my my trade ship over here. Let's move him to East Africa. Okay, end turn. I shall go to East Africa soon. 
But yeah, I definitely want to show you guys a battle. And someone told me, hey, there's a battle to show you. <laughs> so, they've got a ton of armed citizenry. I think like eight or something. The only real problem would be these two veteran line infantry. But I should be able to take them out. This is going to be risky, though. Basically, hey, there's Suvorov. Or Suvorov. Suvorov, yeah. He's that Russian general that's very famous, I think. So, uh, about the Swedish campaign. That's actually kind of a hard campaign. Now, I'm not afraid of hard. I'm not afraid to be challenged by it. But I think it would be more interesting to you guys would be seeing me fight in India, America, and Europe right now. Because I don't think enough people's campaigns show you Indian. Like you're actually fighting against real Indians with elephants and stuff. And America's always kind of interesting. So I picked the, picked the Dutch. This campaign is like 17 turns in. So it's like eight and a half years. Okay, well, we've got a ton of guys here. I don't know why, but they always line them up in column here. I don't know why it won't let me... That's an obstacle. Okay, so here's the plan. There's a ton of French troops, so we're just going to hold this position here. Have the wall to kind of flank. Let's see. Okay. So, this is kind of... It's kind of hill camping a little bit. Let's see there. This troops going to go here. I'm just maneuvering my troops right now, so... The thinner lines there are, the better. Then I'll show you some of our, our awesome United Provinces looking uniforms. Okay, so this is what the, the United Provinces uniform looks like. Blue and yellow. Gold, whatever you want to call it. Orange. But as you can see, I'm using this rock to cover me. And these guys are kind of doing a natural flank here. Let's speed it up and wait for the CPU to actually do something here. The AI, whatever you want to call it. So they left their demi cannons back here, which is good for me because those are fixed artillery. The only problem would be these these three units are going to be a problem. I'm not really worried about these armed citizenry or these militia. It'd be a bonus to kill their general here. He's a three star out of ten. He's got a funny looking mustache. And these guys have patches on them, so it's kind of funny. So the French troops are forming up. Their demi cannon guys are going to lead the way with their sabers as they see the Dutch on the hill. You know, I think it'd be smart. Hmm. I'm going to transfer one more unit over here. That could end up saving me, or it could be a waste of a unit. But, um. Yeah, I definitely think because they do have a lot of troops that may be coming on that left side. So I'm kind of hill camping, but that's just because they outnumber me pretty heavily. And you know, if the A is going to come on to the, fight me on this hill, I'm like, I call it basically Bunker Hill, kind of, defending against the waves of troops coming, except we're the Dutch. Okay, these guys are almost in range. Uh. Someone told me cinematic view was delete. Hmm. Okay, that's what it looks like for first person. Looks pretty crappy. Okay. So they're coming into range of my guys. Wow, you guys are bad shots. And there goes the French. They are shattered. It's partly because they are absolutely exhausted. In Empire Total War versus Napoleon, the guys reload slower, but it's more ac it's more realistic because guys did take a lot longer to reload. That's how they reload right there. And you could also time cavalry strikes, so when these guys are reloading, if they charge in cavalry, I would get in trouble. So let's see if we get any shots off before these guys come into melee. Oh, he just dropped. And we're going to drop in slow motion here. So this is our officer, command the artillery. I want to see someone drop in slow motion. That'd be kind of awesome. Anything? Oh, did you see him fall? Oh, look, they're charging with their daggers. 
<sighs> my game's lagging a little bit. Wow. They're running so slow because they're exhausted. It looks like slow mo. Now they're getting into bayonet, and that's what happens when you're tired on a fresh troop. And this guy's just standing here. Oh my gosh. That stinks. He just died. I'm working on cinematic view here. Hmm. Don't think it's delete whoever said it was delete. Maybe not for me. So the front line guy's reloading. We've still got like three lines. I don't know if fire in advance yet. Research. Ooh, these guys these guys have better range than me. These are skirmisher type units. Definitely was a good idea to transfer another troop. It seems like I don't know. Hmm. Thinking about moving back my position a little bit. I'm gonna get my guys behind this fence here. Oh wow, hey uh, you're so smart. They walked up their troops right into my fire. And there these guys are dropping like flies. Oh. Should I charge him with bayonet? Okay, let's watch the charge of the 18th Regiment afoot. Dun, 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 dun. I could try shooting it out with them, but it probably wouldn't be worth it. That's right, you better run away. This is a really bad idea. <laughs> Get in a square. Square helps boost their melee attack. So I doubt these guys without bayonets are going to do well against our guys. As you can see, they're dropping. Hmm. Oh, yes, the main army. So the hill advantage is definitely going to be key here. My guy's behind this fence, so that's going to help a little bit. Second regiment. See, that's this is the second regiments and stuff. This is my general unit, actually. It's the second regiment. That means that this is, like, their only province. Because as you can see, I've got, like, the... Hey, this is my... And these are all like my 18th regiments and stuff. Oh yeah, well these guys are being attacked by patches. Mm, not really. I would call them more of like ragtag. What's end these guys? Oh, nice. Unlocked armed citizenry. We're giving these guys the bayonets in the woods. So these were hunters. Oh, did you see that guy just go flying? Oh, is he, is he alive? Oh, he, got, he just popped back up. He was like, I will not die. So now we're going to use flanking fire over here. And look at this. Like, they're shooting each other. Yeah, look at him. He's got the idea. He just shot someone. Oh, he just, you see that? His pistol right here just shot this guy over here. Oh, they don't like it. Look at this. We're fighting armed citizenry also. Oh, he kicked him. Oh, he hit him in the face. Now it's probably that unit's probably going to die. It's going to be sad, but it's going to be a Hmm. A little bit slower pace. A lot more slower pace than this, but there's more strategy I think involved. got their line infantry they're right in front of you guys they don't have bayonets just charge them I'm being kind of reckless with my troops right now especially these guys who I just let get isolated and destroyed it's probably because they got attacked from two sides that was it oh brutal bayonet oh he just got knocked over the death stuff in this game is pretty good Are these guys even firing? You guys have bayonets. Kill the guy who doesn't. It's not. Thank you. You got the idea. I want some Scots in this in this campaign. That'd be actually pretty awesome. Gosh, look at this. They're right in front of you. Shoot them. It's not hard. Their guys are like fighting the death. Hey, you want to shoot us in the back? Hey, 
Wrong way, guys. What are you doing? No. They don't have a very good sense of direction. Oh, by the way, the Napoleon, um, Napoleon's grave that I went to in France, I will put that up later on, um, next weekend. I still gotta process the video. It's gonna be my Napoleon to the war battle. See, I'm gonna pull into the war battle where I'm France, and now I'm Britain or France, and then we go against Austria. I'm not sure. It was a long time ago I shot the battle, like in March. It is so brutal, like. Route, you've got 12 skirt. That's right. I told you to run away. Prepare to die. Yep, my flag. This guy has, like, a flag, and he killed that guy. That was pretty awesome. So these guys are kind of dumb. They're walking in front of a bunch of guys with guns. Get back. Hey, don't shoot your own guys. Just reload. Everyone reload. How can I come and fire? They're all reloading right now. As you can see, there's a lot of French dead troops right here. God, I can't believe there's so many of these Finlock armed citizenry. They do have all these little patches on them. No! Drummer boy! Drummer boy! No! Oh, yeah, that's right. Get revenge. Fall over. Fall over. Look at this guy. He's like, yep, yeah, I don't really care that my guys are fighting up here. If my flag guy dies, I'm going to be very sad. Oh! You show him! You show that Frenchie! Bam! Oh! In the groin and then hit him on the back and then he- Oh! Come on man! You had him! These are kind of fun wondrous ones here. The unsportsman like shoot him in the back. Shoot! Anyone got the idea to shoot? Oh! <laughs> that was brutal. <laughs> yep, you're running away. Bam, you're dead. We're fighting. You know what? I think an all-out bayonet charge right now would be just a good idea. Get rid of these guys. You know what? They're going to charge this guy, aren't they? It's 22nd Regiment, form in the square. I'm more afraid they're general. Gonna bayonet charge. Yeah. So we just crush these guys right now. So I mean, if you're not happy with this campaign, I still got the Shamazu, Shamazu, whatever the green guys are in Shogun. I've just been really busy and frankly playing a lot of Call of Duty 4 on the Xbox right now, so that's why I'm making a lot of videos. Don't let him escape. Uh, their general's probably gonna get away. Okay, I'm just gonna fast forward really quickly. Yep. Okay, I just kinda wasted some of the video's time because not my guys can maybe shoot them. Yeah, that's to be the battlefield. So right here was called ambush forest right here. Well, I wouldn't call it really. I'd call this more of like. Yeah, we did kind of get ambushed right here. My troops got ambushed here. I'd call this Hell's Peak, Hell's Ridge, something like that, where all these guys died. A lot of French. A lot, a lot, a lot of French. Um, yeah, and then most of these guys like just got wrecked by that bayonet charge. I did some pretty decent casualties, but only one of my line infantry got completely destroyed. My guys have 42% accuracy. And what are our abilities? Yeah, they do have the ring bayonet. But causes slower reload time when fixed. Hmm. These guys, a thousand? Dang. And only 800 online. So, historically, many army colony colonels received a fee to raise regiments which remain their personal property and commands. 
Hmm. Oh, you could like recruit people like, hey Bob, you're my friend. Here, I'm gonna make you the officer of our regiment and lead us into battle. By the way, if we die, it's not your fault. Okay, well, I'm gonna march all my troops into the line. Have my general go give him a speech really quickly after the battle. A debrief, if you will. Like, when your general's in a line infantry, he's not even wearing a hat. He could just be regular Tom here. Scott. Scotty. And these guys were so tired. It took forever to run to their homes. Well, these guys are going to be paying taxes to me. So there's my awesome drummer boy and the officer. So that poor drummer boy that died over here. So sad. He died somewhere along here. I'm running out of stuff to talk about this battle. I shouldn't have clicked continue. So many dead. Yeah, it was definitely good of me to take that strategic part right here. Okay, French, can you run any slower? Ah, oh, hey look, my house is going to be on fire if I don't keep running. Look at the detail of this building, guys. It's amazing. Here we have some chests outside. Maybe some powder stored here. Post victory. Let's see the results. This is, we haven't gotten a lot done in this part. If we just fought a battle and showed it. Oh, look at that. I destroyed a thousand man French army and lost about half of my force. No, I take that back. No, I did lose about half of my force. Huh, they lost eight more guys somehow. Ah, do 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 do. So, that was their turn. My Spanish. Wait, Spain's not my ally? Hmm. Interesting. I need to definitely, like, in my French campaign, I'm making, like, eight grand a year. Huh. That's a galleon. We're a sloop. Europa, a European sloop. Oh, I fell over. Uh, there, we had like two guys on our ship. Oh, crud. Withdraw. Rebellion? Oh, these Frenchies keep doing rebellions on me. You know what? I found out something. Hmm. Hold on, let me go research quickly. How many schools do I have? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna actually... Hmm. These two agents. I'm actually gonna level this school. Because a lot of it is the clamor reformer. It's only two. Hmm. That makes people generally happy when there's not a school. They don't like... These are enemy agents? Wow, we have enemy assassins here. Niemand weet hoe ze zijn omgekomen. Dat is onmogelijk. Wow, you guys can't kill an unarmed gentleman. I don't care. This is our territory. Our fleet arrived. Completely was destroyed. European China. Ah, look at all these guys. Hold on. Huh. Should I? Hmm. It's risky. That was so risky. It wasn't even funny. I could have like totally lost that. Can someone tell me where France is on the map? Oh. Wow. Well, you guys don't get a little home anymore, do you? Get out of my port. Huge French fleet. Okay. These guys are unhappy. Ton of resistance. Not so much. Positive garrison, blah, blah, blah. Government type. Hmm. Okay. 
Well, I think that's just about it for the first part of our United Provinces campaign. Um, I will show you, try to show you some Indian stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't think I want to go waging war on anyone yet because um, I need to really improve my. That's pathetic. Like only making a thousand each turn. Can't really build a lot. But yeah, anyway, this is Quality Four Man Two Two One signing off. Hope you enjoyed this part.